There's the picture in front of you. Be careful. Don't answer too quick. Think about your code book. Think about what you're seeing. This is really, really nice work. So don't worry about pass or fail. Just think about what type of venting it is. And it's really, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything. I'm not going to say I'm not saying nothing. I'm going to wait for you to say something. Hunter. Common venting at different levels. And your TYs are supposed to be max 10 inches apart. How many of you would agree with Hunter's comment? Because it was congratulations. That was a perfect answer, Hunter. Thank you very much. I can't wait till someday you can teach some of these classes, but you got to get some experience and stuff. <laughs> We're going to get you out of the field for a few 10, 15 years. Yeah. Nate? What is that fitting that is like that? Uh, it looks like a TY, but it's going 90 degrees down. I've never seen one of those in my life. That is an inverted sanitary T for venting. And is that galvanized pipe it's connecting to? It is. And that's a lead nocum joint from the bottom right there. Ever tried to pour an upside down um, lead nocum joint? You all know what joint runners are, right? Nice joint runner, all oiled up nice, not a dry one. You actually soaked it in oil because if you didn't know, you buy those joint runners at the supply house. For any of you who know even what lead is at this point, you got to soak that up with oil or there's a joint. No way you're pouring that joint if that joint runner has not been soaked in a five-gallon bucket of motor oil that you like got sitting around your garage from doing an oil change in your car. That's craftsmanship right there. It really, really is.